Welcome to Real IQ. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install KDE Environment in Linux Mint 22.1. So let's get started. Okay, so I've installed Linux Mint 22.1 in this desktop. I'll just change a wallpaper. So first thing we need to do is open up the terminal, new fetch. So as you can see, it's Linux Mint 22.1. And if you want to install KD environment, first thing you need to do is sudo apt update and sudo apt update. You can do this command separately as well, but if you do it together, it's just one line of code. So just to enter and add your password. So this thing should take some time. Okay, so let's just take a coffee break and see you after this uh, installation. One eternity later. Okay, so once the update is done, you have three different options to install KDE. One is going to be KDE Plasma Desktop, second one is going to be KDE Standard, and third one is going to be KDE Full. So the difference between KDE Plasma Desktop, Full, and Standard, it's going to be number of packages. So KDE Plasma Desktop, it's going to be the minimal KDE environment. KDE Standard is going to be little bit the standard packages so it will include your office LibreOffice, and all those things and kde full will include all the packages so in my opinion you can either go with kde standard or you can go with kde plasma desktop the minimal version because if you have full version most likely you will end up having two different packages from cinnamon and also from the kde plasma as well so i'll, I'll go with kde plasma desktop so sudo at Install KDE Plasma Desktop. Just say yes and enter. Okay, so at some point you are going to be selecting which display manager you want to use it. So in my case, I've already installed another display manager, and that's why it's coming up like this. In your case, it's going to be either LightDM or SDDM. So you can choose to go with any one of them. Both Display Manager are good. Model Display Manager, it does not matter. It's just going to be difference of the lock screen. If you like the lock screen of your Linux Mint, you can just select LightDM and you should be fine. So I'm selecting LightDM. One eternity later. Okay, so once the update is done, you can just simply restart your computer. Okay, so from here, you need to select Plasma X11. That's the one you are supposed to use. Just enter your password. So as you can see now your KD desktop environment it's up and running. You can check out all the things here. Okay. I just changed the size just to match my desktop. You can do same thing from here by configuring or of your desktop settings. If you are interested in how to install Genome Desktop in Linux Mint 22, I have already uploaded video on that. You can check out link up there. And if you are interested in uh, how to install Linux Mint with proper home partition. And what are the benefits of it? You can also find out the link up in the description. If you like my content, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye bye.